Hello everyone! It's me, Teacher Rosel, and welcome to our video discussion. Are you ready to learn? Great! Let's start! Hello everyone! So welcome to your third learning packet in English. Are you ready? Yes, you are! So, can you still remember what we have tackled last time? What was it again? Great! So, for today, we will discuss our new topic. Are you ready? Okay, so our today's lesson talks about sentences and non-sentences. So, do you know what a sentence is? How about a non-sentence? So, do you know what is the difference between the two? Oh, some of you knows it and some are not, but it's okay. Our lesson goals are the following. First, recognize simple sentences, distinguish sentences from non-sentences, and also manifest the value of Mary's fiat by being responsible in expressing one's ideas. So, can you take a look at the two boxes in here? What can you say about example A? And how about example B? Very good. You saw the difference between the two already. Example A has a complete thought, right? While in example B, it doesn't have complete thought. That's correct. So can you take a look at this? On your learning packet, cut the strips and paste it here on the next page on your learning packet. Take time in doing it. I know you can do it. You may start. Okay, so based from the example or the activity given, do you know what is the difference between a sentence and a non-sentence already? Very good. Let us first identify what a sentence means. What? When you say sentence, it is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. A sentence also begins in a capital letter and ends with a period or exclamation mark or a question mark. So now that you know what a sentence is, let us now determine what a non-sentence is. A group of words or group of words that were used to communicate but do not make a complete thought are called phrases. They are non-sentences. Non-sentences or phrases may be the subject or the predicate. For example, for our non-sentence, the PE teacher. The question here is, what is the PE teacher doing? In this case, the phrase is the subject. So, it is non-sentence because the predicate is missing. Did you get it? Okay, another example. Made a cake. The question here is, who made the cake? In this case, the phrase is the predicate. It is also incomplete. Therefore, it is a phrase. So, did you know the difference between a sentence and a non-sentence? Very good. So, let's have this activity. For I can answer on your learning packet, put a check mark if the statement is correct and the wrong mark if it is incorrect. Take time in answering it. I know you can do it. Let's proceed. For I will check part. Let us apply what you have learned. Kindly construct three simple sentences and three non-sentences. Very good! Next, for I can enrich part, let us explore more. Get ready! Get your book, English This Way, open it, and do the activity on page 19, letter A. Very good again. Let's proceed. For I can respond, 
God wants me to be responsible in expressing one's ideas. So the question is, as Filipinians, why should we be responsible for our own ideas? Let me hear you. Okay. So being responsible in expressing one's ideas is a manifestation of our core value, Mary's fiat. Very good. Congratulations everyone. You've done a great job today. You have reached the end of this packet. You succeeded and I hope that you gained knowledge from this lesson. Great job, Salitinian. See you on the next packet. If you still have questions regarding this packet, you may contact me at 0935-800-6863 or in my Facebook Messenger account at Rosel Cariaga Kapinding. Thank you everyone. Goodbye and have a nice day. God bless you.